Hi everyone, welcome back to Aphrodite Mennonil Tarot. Thanks very much for joining our channel tonight. It's very much appreciated. Just going to be doing a general reading for Scorpio. Please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make the story fit if it's not your story. Sometimes I do say he or she, that's for my benefit. Sometimes the story might be vice versa. And while we're at it, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's liked, shared and subscribed and left you beautiful comments. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to press the like button. It does help the channel to grow. Okay, Scorpio. Let's name that song. I climb every mountain, swim every ocean. You are the reason. I don't know why that came to my head, but anyway. It's meant for somebody. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio, somebody is watching you. They've got their eye on you. They see you as the empress. Mm. Yeah, passionate new beginning, Scorpio. Scorpio, in this past energy, Scorpio, I feel that there, there was somebody that came into your life, Scorpio. It could be a fire sign, it could be a Capricorn, it could be a Leo, it could be an air sign. So what I'm seeing here, Scorpio, is this person that came into your life that you, um, you thought you can have some sort of success and growth and stability with, you know, like there was plenty of room for expansion. I'll be honest with you, Scorpio, you were meant to be with this person. And this person probably would have made an offer to you. And I see that there was a lot of happiness between you and a lot of passion, a lot of sexual energy. But you had an interference, Scorpio, from somebody else. And this, this somebody else knew that this person was supposed to be with you. Okay. But this person came in and created conflict, mental conflict, you know. Um, they could have been financially stable, they could have had a lot more to offer this person, they could have had whatever, but they interfered in, in a relationship that was supposed to actually be together, that was universally guided, okay? And this really broke your heart, Scorpio, with this interference of this person that came in, like, they really did a number on you, okay? But... That is in the past, Scorpio. And as you know, we're going into Mercury retrograde. But I can definitely tell you that whoever this person is that came in to interfere knew that you and this person were destined to be together. Okay? Because you were a wish fulfillment that came in from this person. But, you know, this, I'm going to say woman had a desire for this man and she just did everything she could to be able to, um, to have this person. Okay? And, um... Well, whatever she did, it worked and it left you very much heartbroken, okay? And like I said, the story might be vice versa, okay? So, I feel like you, you moved on, you moved on to calmer waters and you, you were pretty much stuck, you know, but you had no choice but to turn your back and, and you know, focus on, on your work and and put all the hard work, work and effort in, into yourself and into you know, moving forward in the future. And I, I kind of feel like, you know, it definitely was an end, end of a cycle, you know. Um, not a complete end because when you're destined to be with somebody, what is yours will, will not pass you, okay? All right, so I kind of feel, Scorpio, that, you know, there was a leap of faith and an offer that was being presented to you. Somebody was watching you, Scorpio, okay? I feel like whoever this person was that went towards this other person and became committed to them and lived um, under one roof together, um, this person never forgot you. This person never, um, you know, like they can't stop thinking of you, Scorpio. You know, they're, they're thinking of taking a leap of faith and making you an offer, Scorpio. All right. Now, the problem with this, Scorpio, is that Along the way where you and this person separated, okay, you had so many in and out energies that came into your life. You were so hurt. You, 
uh, were broken because like you weren't destined to be with these other people okay that came in and out of your life you were destined to be with this person here so I kind of feel like this person wants to come and wants to make you an offer okay um, because they do think about you a lot but the thing is Scorpio is that they probably want to put you into a third party okay they can't seem to um, walk away from what they're committed, uh, but they want to bring healing to a situation between you and this person, all right? Now, although you've got a passionate new beginning here and you may crave this desire to be with this person, the problem here, Scorpio, is if you give this person, you know, the cake so they can eat it too, um, they will never walk away from this relationship. Why should they? If they can have their cake and they can eat it too, why should they walk away from this connection? All right? So, I mean, you do have a choice, but you, you are destined to be with this person. All right? Now, in time, Scorpio, this person will separate or divorce from the relationship that they're currently in. Okay? I feel like this person will eventually come and speak some truth to you because they can't they can't stop thinking about you. You and this person are going to have a, a conversation, okay? So you're coming in as the empress, you're coming in as single, okay? Um, you're you're gonna walk away from this third party if they um, want you to be in the third party. You're not gonna want anything to do with it, okay? Because you've got choices, Scorpio, but. You know, if you know that you're destined to be with this person, but at the same time, um, I feel like if, if some of you Scorpios that you already went into this as, as a third party, that you will eventually walk away because you're bored. You're bored. I mean, sex is not your issue here, Scorpio. You, you can have sex, okay? Your problem is the limitations, the restrictions, the everything else that's going to come with being in a third party situation. So I feel like somebody needs to make a choice here, whether it's you or this other person, but somebody's rushing in with some news. Okay, they don't want to fight this battle anymore, Scorpio. They're going to make a decision. They're going to make you an offer. Okay. They're going to make you an offer. Somebody's made a decision. Judgment is a Scorpio card, okay? And there's your beautiful new beginning that is coming in, the doors that are opening up for you, Scorpio. All right? And I kind of feel, Scorpio, that if you not focus on... It's not that you don't want to have a partner, Scorpio. You want to have the right partner, okay? But at the same time, it's like... Um, if you focus on your work, your family, um, you know, your, your stability, because you don't need anybody to look after you, Scorpio. You're quite independent, but it doesn't mean that you don't want anybody in your life, okay? You, you want the, the connection. You want the, the passion. You want everything that comes within a relationship, even the ups and downs. It doesn't bother you, okay? But you want loyalty, so I don't think you being in a third party is going to last for a long period of time. But if you walk away from this, Scorpio, this person will come rushing in. They don't want you to leave. They don't want you to walk away. They want to make you an offer. They want to give you something more stable. But there seems to be a process that's going to have to happen here. Okay. Um, I do feel that, Scorpio, you have a victory here. There is something that is coming to an end that you are going to transform. There's an awakening. This person that can't stop thinking about you, they're going through some grief and loss because you walked away. But I do feel that, you know, this person's energy is in and out and confused at the moment. You know, they may, you may have options, Scorpio, or they may have other options that they're communicating with but or um, are in some sort of, like, you know, free-spirited connection here, okay? Um, this person might be connecting to a Pisces or another water sign like you or an earth sign who might be more stable than you, Scorpio. I don't know. I'm, it's not that you're not stable, Scorpio. It's just that you don't... Whoever I'm talking to does not have the riches of these people... But what you have, 
Scorpio, they cannot find in somebody else. They will never find it in somebody else, okay? So I see somebody going through some grief and loss, and I see somebody that is feeling left out in the cold. And I do feel that, Scorpio, whatever you think you don't have is all going to come in for you, okay? Especially through your work. There's a, a, a heavy load that's going to be released, okay? you got a beautiful offer that is coming in, Scorpio. A very beautiful offer, not only in your workplace, but, you know, you got the Wheel of Fortune, so you got, and the Ten of Pentacles, so there's a lot of money that is coming your way. And I feel like that you will be comfortable in life, you just need to, you know, work it through and keep focusing on, you know, working and finding your own place and finding some sort of stability, okay? You need somebody, Scorpio, that is going to work with you. You don't want somebody that you just open the door and they walk in and they're comfortable. You want somebody who's going to work with you. you you're working hard to get what you want in life. So um, you're not going to make it that easy. You know, what, what are they going to do to support you? You don't need support financially. I can see that you don't need support financially, but... Uh, you want support in other areas of your life, okay? There's a plan here that somebody's keeping secret and it is regarding you, okay? This person is making a head over heart decision. Mm, they know that this is going to be stressful. They, 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 you know... Then not seeing things very clearly right now, but once they communicate with you, and once you're able to make a plan um, and move forward, that a lot of happiness and success is going to come in this um, partnership. You know, what's really sad about all this is that this other person has kept this person as, as far away from you as possible. Like they've left no room for this person to even like come towards you. But they're going to find a way because they know, they actually know that you are the person that they're meant to be with, okay? And this person who, who's creating the blockage between you and this person, they're about to receive a bad karma. They really are, okay? But you've got a beautiful connection, Scorpio, something that can move forward, okay? When this person comes back into your life, they will have gone through some sort of um, you know, a battle here. Um, their emotions might be a little unstable, but they want to communicate. They want to come towards you, Scorpio. They want to pack their bags and they want to move in with you. This person loves you, okay? This is, this is the connection. This is the connection. And this is how it would have always been had this other person not interfered, okay? It would have been an equal give and take and that you've got a passionate new beginning. So somebody is coming in, Scorpio. Now, I just want you to be careful because we are going through Mercury retrograde, but you should know who this person is. They left you. Um, somebody interfered before the relationship can take off. I feel like that they they are married or connected to somebody else. And um, I do feel that there's quite a battle that is, that is going on. Um, somebody is wounded. But there is forward movement now, okay? And I think that, you know, Scorpio, if, if you want this person back, you don't have to. But if you want this person in your life, just be patient. They're going to come. They're going to come. Um, they're coming in as somebody who is wounded. They know that they can have a passionate new beginning with you. They know that, you know, you and, and this person are equal in every way. They want to form a partnership. They want to feel that sexual energy again. There is a lot of happiness, a lot of laughter, okay? Um, this person is almost like Australia's most wanted. <laughs> and I don't know why. It's like there's a number of people that have their eye on, on them. Um, but you're very equal in that area, Scorpio, because there's a number of people that have got their eye on you. It's just that you're not moving forward with them. Um it's not that you're stuck, it's just that your focus may be somewhere else and um, you may have already heard and communicated with this person from the past, um, but they are definitely making a decision to come towards you, all right? 
Yeah, for others. There was somebody from your past, somebody that had very sneaky behavior, very sneaky behavior. They didn't just, you know, gravitate towards you. They, they gravitate towards other people. They're communicating and they're seeing other people. They're having dinners and lunches and uh, you're sort of sitting around thinking, well, when am I going to go for the dinner and, and the lunch, you know? It's not that you need to, but I feel like that um, if this person starts giving you less, you're going to turn, you're going to go in a different direction and you're going to go towards another partnership, something that can move forward that's going to give you equal give and take, um, a lover's connection and a passionate new beginning, okay? Although your wish fulfillment would be with this person, but if it's not going to move forward, you're not going to repeat cycles. You're not going to repeat cycles, okay? I, I see you moving on, moving on, and moving on. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't want to stop, but you're going, you're, you're on your way, you know. Um, that's for some of you, but for, for others, you will be hearing from this person from the past that wants to have a connection with you and wants to make things more permanent with you, okay. This person has learned a very valuable lesson and they, they're not going to want to lose you again, okay. Anyway, I wish you all the best, Scorpio, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.